So what I was looking for and what came out. And the first thing is important to point out that what you are going to see all this, you know, Rabbi Sela that it is in few <laughs> table to our time. So let us see now the very interesting table. So what I was looking for and what came out. And the first thing is important to point out that what you are going to see, all these uh, sentences, all of them comes in one book. You can see here, in Hebrew Bet is to the second book of the Genesis Exodus. And also in few chapters, really from the 13th till the 19th. In fact, it's interesting that the number of the letters, the skip, Letters is 416, very small one basically, so many words. Also, it has numerical value of senses in holiness, definitely. Very important. So, let us see slowly, sentence by sentence, what is going on here. And what I was looking for. The first thing I was looking for the seventh day of Passover in Hebrew is. Yom Ashvi'i, the seventh day of Passover. It couldn't have come in one sentence without so many letters. But what we have here is the following. So this is the best meeting in the Torah. Oh, also important to say that I also was looking for this year, the date of this year. So what we have, Yom Ashvi'i, what you see in black in Hebrew is Yom Ashvi'i, the seventh day. And in red is written Shell Pesach of Passover on the year 5781. Unbelievable, Mash Potterim, if you want. So, there are lots of miracles. Rabbi from 190 years ago already said that this year can be a year of great success for Jewish people. So, you have a very small skip of this year, which itself doesn't make it very significant. So, Yom HaShvi'i, the seventh day of Passover, on the year 5781, 2021. Amazing. The most interesting and unbelievable of this table that it came exactly with the song that the children of Israel sang on the seventh day. As Yashir Moshe, then Moses, Ubne Israel and Shin of Israel sang et Ashira Azot Lashem. They sang this song to God. But Emrol Emor and said, Let us sing to God because God, oh God, because he came over, he showed his pride over the Egyptian horses and people he put into the water, threw into the water. Amazing. So, all song comes exactly in the right time because it was on the 7th of Passover that Jews crossed the Red Sea and they sang to God. And as we said, our Rabbi said everything in the future, because in the future will be the same thing. The Jews will have a lot of miracles, yeah, after all their enemies will be destroyed. The Messiah will come and they sing to God. Here is Mashiach. Messiah, unbelievable. So what we have more in this table, interesting, we have, as we said, most of the table has to do with Passover, Passover to God, Passover, Passover. Where Hazek had the power of God strengthened the heart of Pharaoh. Yeah. And this way he went into the sea. Then the Kach Moshe Tatsmat Yosef, Moses took the bones of Joseph because in his merit, the sea split. But also what you have here, you have your God, Otsiyam, and Israel, God took them out of Egypt. But also it's written here something which unfortunately one should know, that the enemies of Israel, yeah, today in the past was the Amalekites, so they have also Amalekites, the Iranians want to destroy Israel, to wipe out Israel. So it's written here, by Abu Amalek, Israel, the Amalekites came to 40. Israel Refidim, Refidim in Syria, 
רף ידיים, because the hands were loose in doing the commandments of God, unbelievable. And before it's written also, the Bnei Yisrael tried God. היש השם בקרבנו, is God with us or not? So this is definitely bad, not believing in God. Before, in fact, it's written that Jewish people desecrated the Shabbos, or Rebbe Sela, that because of the desecration of Shabbos, not believing in God, the Amalekite come. And the Amalekite today is the Iranians. You have your Iranians, Iranian, yeah, Iranians, unbelievable, clearly. Those are the Amalekite of today. We have already more than 100,000 rockets, missiles, directed to Israel. If there are missiles, are very exact. You could see that this missile is shot on the Israeli border, right? No doubt. Something to realize, especially the Biden, who <laughs> definitely helping them to carry on with a bomb. Yeah, this was what they are doing. Everything is doing to wipe out Israel. They say it clearly because they believe that their Messiah will not come all the time that Israel exists. By the way, it is so interesting that in this table, when you have the seventh day of Passover, Pesach, you have also the Sabbath, on Sabbath, amazing. What we have this year is Sabbath and the seven days of Passover together, which is also very significant. Like we have two Sabbaths or two Sabbaths in one day, because Passover also is called <laughs> Sabbath, amazing. And our rabbi tell us if just would keep two Sabbaths, Messiah will come. No, but we can do, we have to do such people like Rapid and Lieberman are doing everything to desecrate the Sabbath, and people are going and desecrate in the Shabbos, so you can see why Messiah is not coming, even the date is very suitable, no? But who knows, our rabbi tell us, very interesting, Gemara Talmud tractate in Sanhedrin, which says, this is a portion, the chelek, this is a chapter, which is called chelek. There is written, God says, if Jews will not do repentance, will not return to God willingly, he will appoint up with them a cruel king or leader like Haman, who forced Israel at that time to repent. Yeah. Jews repented, returned to the Torah, and, and you know, the story of Purim came out, yeah, because the, the people listened to the rabbis, to Mordechai and Esther, not like in the Holocaust, as they did not listen to them, the desecrate, this holiness of Shabbos, of life. This way Hitler came, the reincarnation of Haman, some say, this go and kill six million Jews, this is what, yeah, this what happened, people don't listen to rabbis. Don't follow the Torah and Mitzvot. It's what the Rebbe said. It's famous. He wrote a book about it, really, with Professor Alec, which is called The Holocaust in Bible Code, in Torah Code. Clearly seeing the Torah clearly says if Jews would not give the Torah, Hitler will come with Gabbles, Mangan, all those people. Amazing. So in Purim they listen. So very, very interesting. This is what Kabbalah says. The sins... If Jews will not keep the Torah, we live like we have today. We don't have man, we have a manai. A manai is like in Hebrew, a manai, a person like Haman. Unbelievable. Yeah, we may say that God give names to people, to nations, to leaders, that Israel Jews will know with whom they are dealing. So now we know we deal with somebody like Haman, a manai, want to destroy Israel. But we have to remember that the reason to destroy Israel. Only if they don't keep the Torah, they declare the Shabbos. Now who knows what will be? The Iranians come here, no? They, maybe they will bring Jews to return to God. When this is a danger, like it was the Sixth Day War, you know, the Egyptian <laughs> could wipe out the part of Israel, if not this miracle. This is why half of the Tel Aviv, the city of Tel Aviv, was prepared for a cemetery. Because, uh, but it was a miracle. Who knows what can be now? So we had Messiah here, very interesting, you have Messiah, you can see, Messiah, Mashiach, and you can also see the son of Jesse comes here, son of Jesse, yeah? But you have here also very interesting images of Purim, like in Purim it was Esther, yeah? 
שיבות איזרק צוריצן צוגון, אסר כמיה. אין מרדכי אולסר אינפס קמיס, איזה ביג ספליט, סקיפ, בצילי קמס וגדר ויץ פסח, יוצאים מרדכי. מרדכי קמסיר, מרדכי. אין, this all is versus to do with Passover, Passover, because the seventh day of Passover is like accumulation of all the days of Passover. So everything comes here, unbelievable. Then you have a reverse, which is written that Moses took the bones of Joseph, because the merit of Joseph, who became very well of the story, that he went through great trial, so it shows clear purity. And this is Mary, that she split. So all together, as I said, it is unbelievable. Table, you have here the repentance, a small skip, because repentance, this is the most important condition for son of Jesse, for Messiah. It's, the Rambam said, yeah, that Israel will not, be, will not be redeemed unless they return to God. And at that time, we have Koresh. Koresh is Cyrus. Cyrus also was called the Messiah of God in Isaiah 45, because he was helping Israel to settle. And even he told them, you can build your temple. I mean, so this itself, they will bring him spark of Messiah. This also was with Donald Trump, who recognized Israel, believed in the prophecies, Israel will come back, believed in Jerusalem being, should be the holy city. So, And no doubt that he had spark, but Jews did not deserve it because it doesn't have the Shabbos, their faith in God was weak. So we lost it. But we have to wait. We know for what. But also what you have in name of very evil sport, evil forces. This is Samael. He is a heavenly angel of the Amalekites, which is so coming here. We have a Malek Vilachem Israel. Amalekite came. To fight with Israel, they are feeding because their hands were loose in fulfilling the Torah. Milchama Lashem Bamalek, all generation, door door, fight with the Malek. Iranian Nazis, all of these people are Amalekites. They are unbelievable. So all of this comes with the Zechariah and the Shabbos. And there is also the Lilies, which is a feminine of Samael, right? Samael is as a force of small, because in Israel is small, the leftists are people against the Torah. Yeah. So, all of these evil forces threaten the children of Israel already is there. Our rabbis tell us the Jews did tshuva, repentance, returning to God when, in Egypt, when they saw the heavenly minister of the Egyptian running after them, pursuing them, un unbelievable. So it was a great, a great danger of Jews. The, the heavenly ministers are uh, turning after Jews because they don't, they don't keep the Torah. They deserve punishment, fighting it. So very, very interesting table, as I said, finding best meeting of the seventh day, Yom HaShvi'i, the seven days of Pesach, in this year, this year really is a year that if you deserve a Messiah, coming Messiah, unbelievable. But what we can do is that Rambam said in repentance, and you know, we have like people like Lapid who don't believe in the Torah, and um, definitely the other Lieberman are doing everything to desecrate the Shabbat, to desecrate, sanctify things in Israel. So who knows what will be? which will force Israel to realize that only God can save them from all the trouble, especially when you have now such a situation that uh, more than 100 missiles are directed to Israel, and uh, the Iranians are working very hard to finish the bomb with the help of Biden, who allows them. Yeah, and, uh, you know, very, very difficult situation. Who knows if a war will not break out, because... Yeah, the situation is very, very severe. So very interesting, a significant table for our time, hoping that really Jews will realize that only God can save them. He saved them in the past. He took them out of Egypt with great miracles, right? And hoping that the same thing will be here, you know, clearly written there. Hashem, remember, Hashem, remember, 
that God took you from Egypt. Hashem yeah. Mitzrayim, God took you out of Egypt. You have to remember it. Only God can help you. Yeah, no others. Definitely no Biden. <laughs> so as we said many times, that there uh, is indications of redemption future are similar to what happened in Purim. Yes, we said that if Jews will not repent willingly, so God will appoint upon them a very cruel leader like today, Ramanai, and the same story of Purim. Now we were in Purim, Esther and Mordechai. So you have your Esther, yeah, Esther, Cyrus, as we saw, and Mordechai. Remember, we saw Mordechai, okay, a little bit. Big skip, but still, you have your seal Mordechai. You have Mordechai here. Yeah, you can see Mordechai in black coming here. And skip with the story of Egypt. Bechazek Hashem et Faro, God strengthens the heart of Pharaoh. Hey, and you know the whole story, the ten plagues, and you know the story, yeah, that he chased the Jewish people. God strengthened his heart. So, Mordechai comes here, so as he said, that like the miracles we had in Purim, we hope that we have also now a very interesting and significant table for our time.